the mighty supermarket simulator and the hundred dollar store. You've seen the success of Poundland if you're in the UK or Europe. You've seen the success of the dollar store if you're in the States. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use my business brain and basically have instead of the one dollar store, the hundred dollar store. So I take advantage of the simple, easy to understand and attractive pricing, but I make 99 more dollars on every single item, right? It's absolute genius. What could possibly go wrong? Welcome to Supermarket Simulator. Start by purchasing goods to sell and place them onto the shelves. Don't forget to set the prices with a profit to avoid bankruptcy. Don't you worry. I've already got a plan. $100 store, baby. Let, wait, sir, let me tell you. There's a $100 store opening. Well, this is awkward. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, I need to buy produce. People are going to want cereal and bread. I've already got shelves, so that's not a problem. What we need to do is corner them in with choice. What food would you pay $100 for? Right, look at this. Woohoo! <laughs> I could work in retail. <laughs> right, store that over there. Right, what? Oh, market price $3. Suckers. Right, everything $100. $99 profit. Yeah. Super bread. I'll call it super bread because it costs loaves of money. <laughs> yeah. You see, when you're laughing this much, you don't care how much you're paying for goods, right? Right, chalky pick. Some over there just to confuse the kids. Right, Pew. right. Three dollars? Are you kidding? When you could get a hundred dollars for it? Ping! Right, hundred dollar cereal, hundred dollar bread. The bin is talking to me. The bin has a quest from here. What's my what's my range? Oh, uh, what? Hundred dollars cereal, hundred dollar bread. Hundred. You know it's good. Hundred dollar bread. Hundred dollar bread. Yeah. You come back in that that lovely suit. You're used to paying money, right? Good money. Good money for bread. Good bread. Good bread. They'll come back. Finish the tutorial, making loads of money. Ding. We're open. Yeah. Oh, my friend, that is a sharp, sharp suit, and you are a sharp, sharp person. Would you like some hundred dollar cereal? No, no. It's only. A, it's a hundred dollars. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Look at that smart suit. You have come from a manor house, possibly some sort of royalty. Clearly, some marketing is going to have to play at work here. Yeah, 99, 99. You got to be a little bit underhanded, a little bit dastardy. Too expensive. Someone's going to pay this. Quality bread, quality cereal. Is it though? Okay, okay, let's try. Okay, I suppose it is for kids. So let's consider $33. And 33 pence, because that's a silly fun price. 33, 33. I just slashed the prices. Prices are dropping rapidly all over the shop. And that bread, 22, 22. Massive sale. Bread, only $22. But my friend, my good friend, look, look, look. Quality prices, quality bread. Quality prices, quality bread. No, no, look, 22, 22. It's a funny price. Funny cereal, funny price. Funny cereal, funny price. Too expensive. I'm, I'm getting a vibe that the $100 store is struggling. Let's take a nice big loan. There we go. Look at all the moolah. Right, now we're going to seriously upgrade some stuff. Let's get some oil and pasta and sugar and flour and shelf. Okay, okay. Right, whoa! That is not how you stack boxes. Wow, that was in that shelf box? That was impressive. Right, flour... Everywhere. Right, what's this one? I've forgotten. This is Susu. Right. This costs four eighty three. So in my head, it should be twelve dollars. Twelve dollars twelve cents, right? Whoa, not much a poor. Right, okay. Much more reasonable prices. Clearly, clearly they're not ready yet. Normally three seventy one. So let's try nine ninety nine. Under $10, that's going to work, right? What if everything's $9.99? No, no, it's not. It's not. It used to be 100 It could be 100 Think if it was 100 it'd be way too expensive if it was 100 It's less than 100 It's only $9.99. Think about it. Think about it. Tell your friends. 10 bucks would be expensive, but $9.99 is a bargain. You're losing money by leaving. Hey, I'm just walking down the road like like you, pedestrian. Man, I could really go for some, some groceries. I hope there's a store that has the same price for all the items. Oh, this one's great. Look at this one. Oh, I've, I've seen $100 bread before. That was ridiculous. But look at this, $9.99 bread. This looks great. Quality sliced $9.99 bread. I wouldn't want to miss out on this deal. Would you? No, surely not. Okay, then. I'll buy. Damn it. 
Zna... My friend, welcome, welcome. You see, finally, the elite clientele has arrived. You'd like some fruit cereal, whatever this is. Of course, let me scan that for you. Beep, beep, beep. That'll be $9.99. Oh, I've got a card. Oh my God, I've got to press the right buttons. Oh, jeez. I thought I had to do it from that far away. <laughs> I was like, I can't see that. $9.99. Ding, yes. <laughs> Enjoy your quality cereal. Now we're cruising. But that person, who should be a celebrate with this person? Oh, man, did you just shop at the $9.99 store? Me too. What a great service and quality goods. Pricing's reasonable. It's so simple. I'm glad everything's at one price. Isn't it useful? Really handy, really helpful. Glad you enjoyed it. You should definitely come back. Maybe you'd like to come back right now. Maybe you're tired. Are you thirsty? It's quite a warm day. Whew. Come back and get some water. We don't actually have water, but maybe you could find some in the shop. It'd be great. You can have some tap water. Only $9.99. It'd be great. Hey, you look like you knew that guy. He just bought some cereal. Uh, I mean, over, not overpriced, a good price. Um, Greg, is it though? Is it too expensive? It could be more. Good bread, good bread. I need better items. How do I get better items? Yes! Oh, I'm so sorry I made you wait after I complimented your fantastic suit. You know what? Yes, this fruity sugar cereal. Oh my gosh, that's loads of money. I guess we're good, right? Thanks. <laughs> I got confused because you paid. I don't know what to do with paying customers. I'm so used to rejection in here. I tell you, this sugary cereal is flying off the shelves. Look. Look at it. Look at James Bond's here. James Bond thinks the flower's too expensive. Dude, you have like an Aston Martin. I don't think it's broken the game. I've got to do 22 more checkouts. 99, we're open 24 hour, 24 seven. We're open 24. Oh, I should make the price 24 seven. No, okay, not yet. 9.99, really good. Have you seen our sugar cereal? Favored by those in the business industry. <laughs> look, look, sugar cereal, 9.99. It's a bargain. What a day, what a great day, right. More lit products equals more sales. Look at look at how bright these products are. <laughs> Hopefully, if the light's that bright, they can't properly see the price tag and they just bring it to the checkout, right? Finish the day. A successful day. One satisfied customer. 52 found it expensive, but 39 customers. Let's go. You'll start receiving bills today. Oh, no, I don't want bills. Uh, can I not have bills? But those bills didn't stop coming in. They mounted up and the bank foreclosed on the store. The $100 store dream was over before it really began. Only a few dusty boxes of sugar cereal remain, waiting to be plucked from the rusty shelves by a smart, suited young professional. And so it was back to the drawing board for the next idea to take the world of supermarket simulator by storm. Until next time.